let me let me let me start by saying i've said here before that we need you don't even need to that if you've chosen to believe god choose to believe god completely hallelujah you if you've chosen to believe god choose to believe god completely as in believe god radically praise the lord believe god what radically don't don't, don't put limits to what you believe and what you don't be and the rest you don't believe because in any way you're already radical the fact that you are born again how many of you are born again you are born again yeah you are you are already radical there, there are things that you've believed that are very radical you guys you born again you believe you you believe that your savior was born of a virgin hallelujah you believe that your savior was born of a what of a virgin how many of you believe that jesus was born of a virgin yeah you believe glory to god thank you for believing how many of you know that that is radical it, it, it is radical you actually believe that you actually believe in someone who you say eh? who, who it is said of that was born of a virgin he just appeared in his mother's womb hallelujah and then he grew up and the guy the, the guy he was killed and on the third day he rose again and you believe he rose again how many of you believe jesus rose again you believe you are radical guys you believe jesus rose again and you believe that he was there talking to his people his disciples and then he started floating in the air and he went as they were looking at him like this praise the lord I mean, you just try, just try, just, just try, just as in, just project yourself a little like this, and you see if you will go up. Hallelujah! But you believe that Jesus actually floated in the, and the Bible says, and the clouds, he, he was received in the clouds when people were watching. Hallelujah! And you believe that he's somewhere, somewhere in a place called heaven, which you have never seen, but you know that it's one day he's coming back for you. And you believe that he's going to come back again, floating in the what? In the sky. Hallelujah. As in he's just going to be floating in the sky, gravity suspended. Glory to God. And then you believe that he's also going to suspend gravity on you and you arise, rise, you jump in the air and you meet him in the air. How many of you believe that stuff? You guys are radical. Hallelujah. Yeah, so let me tell you, you are already radical. Tell your neighbor you are radical. So you're not, you're, you are not saving anything by choosing to be, not to believe certain things. You have already believed crazy things. So if you have believed crazy things, just believe crazy things and and be a nobi maleo. You guys, do, you, you, you guys believe that Jonah was swallowed by a fish for three days. The, the enzymes in the fish's belly did not digest him. He was there for three days still breathing. How many of you believe that story? And then the fish uh, vomited him out. Or, or, or you, you just try to, you've ever swallowed something and after three days try vomiting it out and we see if it will still be alive. But somehow you believe that Jonah was in the belly of a fish for three days and he was, hallelujah. And you actually believe it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Mm. You, you, are, you are actually educated, but you believe it. So, the things you have already believed are already crazy. In the, in the world of scientists, they are stupid. So, you have already believed stupid things. You are not saving anything else. Just believe. If you have chosen to believe God, just believe God and continue. Hallelujah. So, there are things that God is going to tell you that are radical. So don't choose, don't, don't say something as me, I don't believe that. You, you really believe the crazy things. You guys believe that it, one time it rained and the whole earth was filled with water. What rain, what, what rain was it? Was it cyclonic rain or relief rainfall? A nimbus, a nimbus is not a type of rain. Hallelujah. Nimbus is a crowd. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Eh? Was it relief? With you, of all the science that you have studied, which kind of rain is that? And yet you still believe it. You believe it. You believe that Moses stretched out his rod and water split. The, an entire sea. An entire sea split. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There's a cup picture of, of Moses I saw. Of course, guys were just being funny when the mother was trying to bathe him. 
Mamute kamazi na gas pleating. Hallelujah. Na, na, na <laughs> anyway, so I'm trying to say that we have already believed crazy things. Amen. So we are going to see some crazy things in the Bible. Just choose to believe. Because we have already chosen to be what? To be crazy for the Lord. Paul said, even if they call me mad, I would rather be mad for what? For the Lord. As in, yeah, but you eat a balad and then Are we ready? Are you ready? John chapter 17. So John chapter 17, uh, Jesus is praying and he's saying, and in verse number four, Jesus says that I have glorified thee. He's talking to the Father. Are we together? He's saying, I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work thou gavest me. Mm -hmm. Verse number five. And now, O oh Father, and now, O oh Father, glorify thou me with thy own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. Praise the Lord. So Jesus is telling the Father, um, Jesus is telling the Father that glorify me. Glorify me with, the, with thyself. In other words, with the glory which I had with you before the world was. Give us a simpler version. And we see, what, what, because King James, first put NKJV. Uh -huh. And now, Father, glorify me together with yourself with the glory which I had with you before the world was. So Jesus is saying that before the world was, there was a glory that he had. Are we together? There's a glory that he had before the world was. Now he's telling the father that glorify me with that same glory. That means at the time he's speaking, he doesn't have that glory. Are we together? But he's saying that he had it. Now he's saying that, God, I have finished your work. Now restore my glory. Re glorify me with the glory which I had with you. Give me a uh -huh, uh -huh, NLT. Let's read NLT. Now, Father, bring me into the glory we shared before the world began. Hallelujah. So we are seeing here that Jesus is claiming, Jesus is saying that there is a glory that he had before the world began. And he, had, he was sharing that glory with the Father. In other words, it was the same glory. The same glory that the Father had is the same glory that Jesus had. They were, he's saying the glory we shared before the world. Give me another version. Let's see what another version says. NIV. What does NIV say? Mm -hmm. And now, Father, glorify me with your very own splendor. The very splendor I had in your presence before the world was. This is message. Uh -huh, NIV. And now, Father, glorify me in your presence with the glory I had with you before the world began. Hallelujah. Yeah. So there is a glory that Jesus had, and he's saying that that glory is the same glory that the Father had, and they shared it. They had that glory before the world began. Now he's saying that glorify me with that same glory. Why? Because when he was coming, he, had, he laid aside that glory. And, became, and was born as a human being. Glory to God. Now he's saying, I have finished the work. I have finished what you sent me to do. Now glorify me. This is amplified. Now, Father, glorify me along with yourself and restore me to such majesty and honor in your presence as I had with you before the world existed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So when the Bible tells you about glory, Jesus is saying that restore my glory. What, what, what comes to your mind? But be, before we even go to what comes to your mind, eh? okay, let me say, what comes to your mind when they talk about glory, the glory of the Lord, the splendor of the Lord? And you see, Jesus is talking about the fact that he was sharing this glory with the Father before the world began. So I don't know where they were, but what, because they were certainly not in the world because the world hadn't yet begun. Eh? Praise the Lord. So wherever they are or wherever they were, I don't know glory. But he's saying that we shared this glory. This is the glory we shared with you. This is the glory that I had with you before the world began. So you, you can imagine that he's talking about the same glory as the glory. Are you still there? Are you still there? Yeah. Now, you imagine that, the, 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 that Jesus... I don't know, you, you, whatever imagination that you have, whether they are floating in the sky or float, I don't know whatever they were doing, but they were, in, they were certainly in what? Glory. Hallelujah.
Praise the Lord. Amen. But you see, this is uh, where I'm going with this is that the Bible says in the book of 2 Thessalonians, chapter number 2. Give me 2 Thessalonians, chapter number 2, verse number 14. Hallelujah. 2 Thessalonians, chapter number 2, and verse number 14. Uh-huh. Glory to God. I want us to read together. Num one, two, three, let's go. <clears throat> Give me the N NKJV and we see if it makes it simpler. Mm -hmm. To which he called you by our gospel for the obtaining of the glory. Now, I, I, you see, I, at first I was talking about the fact that Jesus had a certain kind of glory. And that is the kind of glory that he was sharing with who? With God. Hallelujah. But now the apostle Paul is writing and he's saying that God has called us through the gospel, through the gospel. And he's saying that through the of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, you see a question that had only Jesus and the Father. Praise the Lord. We are talking about an equation of glory that had Jesus and who? And the Father. But somehow... The Bible is telling us that through the gospel, through the gospel, we are actually called to the obtaining of the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. But I want you to remember that the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ is the same glory that you are sharing with the Father. Are we together here? So in other words, the Bible is saying that through the gospel, you actually can obtain the glory of Jesus Christ, which is the glory of Hallelujah. Now, I know, I, I know, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. When, when I say such things, in your mind, you start saying, Pastor Komao, Pastor, because you've been told God does not share his glory, God does not, and, and you will quote from your scripture, I will not share my glory with any man. You forget all the contexts. Glory to God. Hallelujah. For, forgetting all the context. Glory to God. I know, praise the Lord, I've read the scriptures. I know it. Glory to God. But this scripture here is telling us that he has glorified that he, he has called us by the gospel for the obtaining of the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. So in other words, that the Bible is telling us here that through the gospel, we can actually obtain the glory of our Lord Jesus. How many of you have believed the gospel? Glory to God. So th th this is one thing, and I want to take you somewhere here, is that the gospel should actually, should actually be leading to an increase in the glory. If what you're hearing, I don't care how it sounds, is somehow not leading to the obtaining of the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ, then it is probably not the gospel that Paul was preaching. Because Paul, the Bible is saying that the gospel he was preaching was through that gospel we are called for the obtaining of the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. So I need to see if, if you are actually receiving the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, then that gospel will lead to an increase in the glory of the Lord in your life. Are you still there? Praise the Lord. So then that causes us to evaluate sometimes. What are we hearing? Is it indeed the gospel? Is it indeed the gospel? Praise the Lord. Is it indeed? Now, like I told you, when you talk about the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ, many people, many, many, many people point and put red flags. They're saying, no, you, pastor, I think you are. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yeah. To the obtaining of the ghost of, of the of the glory. So this and this is where I ask you, okay. Maybe because Pastor, you 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 may ask, okay, okay, obtaining of the glory through the gospel. What is this glory? What comes to your mind when you talk about glory? For example. For example, glory. I, Douglas, are you scratching your head or you're putting your hand up? I, uh -huh, yes, Douglas. For example, glory, uh-huh. Excellence. Uh -huh. For, uh, fantastic. Excellence can be an attribute of glory. Fantastic. Ibra, you had put your hand up before Douglas. Splendor. Huh. Praise the Lord. 
Ya la message version in Gamma Antics. Sima ya put, sima restore my splendor. Hallelujah. <laughs> okay, splendor. Glory to God. What else can Yes, Madrid. Beauty. Glory to God. Uh-huh. Beauty. Fantastic. Yes. Uh-huh. Douglas again. Ma Majesty. Nakoka to waka project in zone. Hallelujah. Yes, Ibra. Uh-huh. Light. Uh-huh. Light. Uh-huh. For... Guys, put up your hands. All answers are correct. Just that some are just more correct. Hallelujah. Uh-huh. Yes, Edric. Power. Uh-huh. Power. Glory to God. Uh-huh. Yes, Jackie. They have taken your answer. Which one was it? You say it again. Power. Uh huh. Fantastic. Uh huh. Glamour. Shababa. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh huh. Yes, Douglas. Radiance. Glory to God. Uh huh. Anointing. Glory to God. More glory. I have no glory. My name. What would not glory? Uh huh. Might. Uh huh. Might. Douglas. What I would say. Uh huh. Brilliance. I don't go to you. Go Hallelujah. Eh? Meta, meta AI. Hallelujah. See. Uh -huh. Yes, Mr. Paji. Fame. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Seth, is your hand up? Magnificence. Glory to God. Uh -huh. Edric said magnificence, magnificence, magnificence. Hallelujah. Now, ladies and gentlemen, all those, all those things, fantastic, put all those things put together can actually uh, can describe different attributes of what? Of glory. The excellence. In other words, the gospel of Jesus Christ should bring a certain level of excellence in your life. Praise the Lord. By the gospel, you should be obtaining a certain level of splendor, a certain level of, of excellence, a certain level of might, a certain level of power, a certain level of anointing. Glory to God. A certain level of radiance. Hallelujah. And, yeah, and, and I'm talking about in literal sense. As in you should enter a certain place and there is a change in the atmosphere because you have entered. Why? Because by the gospel, you have received a certain kind of radiance. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. As in the gospel is supposed to have a... I told you, okay, now, in fact, all those things are true, but I've just remembered that one time here I, I stood and I preached about John 11, where Jesus, Jesus was res uh, resurrecting who? Lazarus. And I remember how he told he told Martha that you know that uh, if you believe if you believe you shall see the what the glory of the Lord, and because Martha was asking about uh, about the resurrection of his brother, and then Jesus told him that if you be, did I not say unto you that if you believe you shall see the what the glory of the Lord? But what was he referring to? He was actually referring to the resurrection of what Lazarus. So when Martha believed, Lazarus was resurrected. In other words, according to Jesus, seeing the glory of the Lord in that instance, was seeing Lazarus resurrected. Are, are you listening to me? See, the resurrection of Lazarus was a display of the glory because Jesus told Martha that you will see the glory of the Lord. In other words, seeing someone who is dead being resurrected is a manifestation. Is, hallelujah. Glory to God. Yeah, even the English. It's a manifestation of the glory. Hallelujah. Yeah, so in other words, ladies and gentlemen, if we are talking about seeing the glory of the Lord, that means that when the gospel is introduced in your life, we need to see some dead things resurrecting as a manifestation of the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. We need to see certain things that had died coming to life. We need to see certain things that had lost hope all of a sudden rising up again. Hallelujah. As a result of the gospel of the Lord Jesus. No, some of those things may seem simple things, whatever, that you know what, but the day I got born again, the day I, I got the whatever, somehow I went back to school. Th let me tell you, you may not be shining, but that's glory. Hallelujah. That there is glory. It might be that, Pastor, me I was suffering and what, 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 but the day I had the gospel, my relationship with my father, well, it was restored. That, that there, ladies and gentlemen, is glory. It could be that you, in fact, your wife, Father, glory to God. You see, sometimes, praise the Lord. Yeah. And so all of a sudden, when you're exposed to the gospel and that relationship is resurrected, let me tell you that there is glory. Some of you, the glory of the Lord is going to be re is going to be restored, not restored, is going to be revealed by a resurrection of your finances. Hallelujah. Yeah, 
some people's finances zafa okay zili kwa tu zinafanenga zili ku oxygen haleluya ngaze mubie mubie nsimbi na pastors mubie nsimbi ndi kuchupa ndi kuchi ndi kuchupa sometimes the glory of the lord is shown in resurrection of things that had died businesses that had died ministries that had died hallelujah glory to god so to which he called us to which he called you by our gospel for the obtaining of the glory of our lord jesus and that, that is not to put aside everything all the other things all the other aspects of glory that were mentioned let me tell you let me tell you you need to enter a certain place and I, i'm i'm telling you guys let me tell you I pray for you in the name of the Lord Jesus that the glory of the Lord will be so strong upon you that you enter certain places and demons flee. And demons flee. Ngatawalia, listen, ngatawalia zigoenga you've not opened your mouth to say come out my go but demons flee just by your presence. Glory to God. Why not? Why not? Why not? I mean, if handkerchiefs that were cut from Peter's clothes were able to heal people, if I mean from Paul Paul, Paul's handkerchiefs, Peter's shadow, Peter's shadow was healing people and raising people from the dead. Listen, Ngataga meant to rise up from the dead, just shadow, as in you just get an opportunity. Why it? Why is it going to pass? I pray for, I pray for you that such things will happen in your life. And listen, and listen, I don't want you to write yourself up and say, and, and you say those things are for pastors. No, they are not for pastors. They are for every believer. This scripture is for every believer that you receive the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Listen, let me tell you, some of the things you're suffering with, eh, it's just a deficit in glory. Hallelujah. He said, said, some of the things you're suffering with is a deficit in glory. Even at work, it's a deficit in glory. I'm telling you, sometimes when the glory comes, they will start fearing you. Are you still there? Yeah. So what you're hearing, if it's not increasing the glory, then we need to start questioning whether indeed it is the gospel. And you, you listen, you need to believe these things, guys. You need to believe these things because if you don't believe them, eh, you, these things happen for those who believe them. Praise the Lord. These things happen for those who do what? Who believe them. If you don't believe that it, if you don't believe that you can lay hands on someone and they get healed, they will never be healed. If you don't believe that your shadow can do something, that through through your shadow, people can be healed, it will never happen. But those that me, I told you, I chose to believe that everything that I see in the Bible as a possibility, I will believe it until I see it happening. I believe. <laughs> I believe with all my heart that people one day, one day people will be just looking at me and being healed. I believe it. I believe it. But I believe it that before I leave this place, it will be testified that Pastor Mutunako Tunuzuo to Glory to God. Yeah, right now, right now I want to basavi a name bateka kemi kona. Can you? Why not? Why not? Yeah. I've seen people who had people who have touched me when I don't know and virtue. Hey, Cabra, those are Kaya. Virtue moved out of me and healed them. It has happened. It has happened. I've seen people who have come close to me. I've seen people who have sat in my chair. People have sat in my chair and been healed. It has happened. Yeah. I've seen the glory. I've seen. I've seen certain. I want more glory to God, but I've seen certain aspects. I've seen the glory in splendor and light. I've shined the for people. Praise the Lord. I've shined the for people, and they couldn't enter the room by reason of the glory. Hallelujah. Mm. They couldn't enter. They couldn't enter the room where I was because of what? Of the glory. They started calling each other Jangu Jangu, and they could not enter. They could not. They tried, but they could not. So, ladies and gentlemen, these things can happen, but they will happen for those that do what? Believe them. So believe it that you can actually, through the gospel, you obtain and share the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm not putting words in Jesus' mouth. This is in the Bible. 
So you choose, you choose the scripture you want to believe. Hallelujah. Which says that the one which says that he doesn't share his glory with any man, or this, or this one which he says that which says that you obtain and share in his glory. But the two don't contradict. It's just context. Hallelujah. The two don't contradict. It's just context. Praise the Lord. Yeah. So let me continue briefly here. Because I'm still setting up something. Tell anybody he's setting up something. Hallelujah. Now, this, this is this is this is here. This is this. I, I hope I'll get there. Glory to God. You need to believe these things. Why? Because if you don't believe them, they don't work for you. The things that God wants to do in your life hmm, are dependent on what actually you believe. And that is why in most, in most cases, he will, try to, he, will, he will try to reveal to you the kind of person you are before he tells you the kind of things that, that you can do. Praise the Lord. Yeah, in most, most cases, he, God will emphasize the kind of person that you are before, and, and this is where people make mis a mistake. Because to what manner, do you know like the Bible says in the book of James, James chapter number one, verse 22, put it up and, and it says, let's read together. One, two, three, let's read. Uh-huh. Leaving yourselves. Verse 23. If mm -hmm. the one, the Bible is saying, the one that is a hearer and not a doer. So the end result is doing. The end desire is what doing. We want to do certain things. We want to lay hands and the people are healed. How many of you want, want to... What, what are the things you want to do? Glory to God, before, before, you, before you depart. And before I go to heaven, I should have walked on water. Hallelujah. Imagine, huh? Great influence. Hallelujah. Great influence. You know, great influence is, is very general. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Great influence financially. Education wise, as in great money, uh -huh, you want money, uh, fantastic. And you see, listen, having money is doing the word, praise the Lord. You know, we talk about being doers of the word. Many of us only, many of us only think of, of we don't steal, so I'm, I don't steal, therefore I'm a doer of the word. Or go to church, therefore I go to church, therefore I'm a doer of the word. And that is that. But there are many other things that the Bible tells us that doing the word, hallelujah, glory to God. So when you, if you are rich, glory to God, you are doing the word, hallelujah, praise the Lord, hallelujah. It's, you know, you know, you can be anointed and financially, you can be so anointed financially, and that anointing is not different from the anointing of a prophet. Only that for him is anointed to prophesy, for you are anointed to mint money. You are both doing the word, hallelujah. You are both what? You are both doing the word. So when you talk about be you do as that, don't only think of the moral aspects that what I am I'm doing moral things and please do the moral things. But it's not limited to that. Glory to God. Glory to God. Being doers of the doing do, being doers of the word also has aspects of showing forth his glory. Yeah. He says that we shall show forth his glory. So when you're showing off his glory financially, you are being a doer of the word. Hallelujah. When you're showing forth his, his glory in, in might and splendor, whichever way, glory to God. So anyway, the Bible is saying that if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man observing his natural face in a mirror. Natural face in a mirror. You have a mirror. Mm -hmm. Let's assume this is a mirror. Okay, big assumption. Eh? But it is a mirror. Hallelujah. So you look, Edric, come and look at yourself. Hallelujah. So Edric is looking at himself in a mirror. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. He's beholding himself. <laughs> Glory to God. Uh -huh. So Edric is beholding himself in a mirror. Are we together? Now, the Bible is saying that if any man is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he's like a man observing his natural face in a mirror. Give me the next verse when Edric is still there. Mm -hmm. Observing his natural face in mirror. He thoughtfully observes him so thoughtfully. Observe yourself thoughtfully. Thoughtfully, wait again. Tell him, tell him, tell him. And then goes off promptly and forgets what, what he was like. 
Give me KJV. Jayu KJV. Uh, 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 he observes himself and goes away and immediately forgets what kind of man he was. So, Edric, vow, nga, nga, wait again, wait again. Observe yourself properly. Right? Until you're convinced that you're looking good. You're convinced that you are, mm, you're going to turn heads. Hallelujah. Until uh -huh. then, then after the Bible says that one who observes and one who hears and does not do is like a man observing himself in a mirror. And then after he has observed himself carefully, then he turns a cut turn away. Mm -hmm. then, uh, then immediately, the Bible says immediately, he forgets what? What kind of man? No takugama. Obansi muse. Ovakwera wa munda birame. Kati, where is your? Obansi muse. Wow. When did it? Is it a day? Not uncle, no, you could die, die, hallelujah. Not die, not to know, gamma. Eh, nine, nine, ten, the one, but the cheese, the smite, no, but the no vow cut damn way that day, hallelujah. No damn, nine, ten, but sit again day. The Bible is saying that a person who is a hearer and not a doer is that kind. He forgets what manner of man he is. Now the Bible tells us that the mirror that is being the what the mirror that the Bible calls a mirror there is the word of God. So we have people, you can go back. We have people who look at themselves in the word of God. Hallelujah. In the word of God. Continue, continue, continue. Verse, verse 25. But he who looks, but you see, but he who looks in the perfect law of liberty, the perfect law of liberty is the word of God. Hallelujah. So when they're talking about mirror, they are, they are referring to the perfect law of liberty, which is the word of God. In other words, you go into the word of God and find out who you are and find out what manner of man you are and find out everything that God says about you. And then immediately you turn, you forget what the Bible has said about you. You are not a doer of the words. For example, what are the things that God, the Bible says about you? The perfect law. Now, I want you to look at yourself in the mirror of the of the law of the Lord's word. What does the Bible say you, you are? What, what are some of the, huh? You are the Bible. The Bible says you are rich. Glory to God. The Bible says that you He was made poor, that you through His poverty might become what? Might become rich. So, no vow. You get excited when you're reading it. Oh, are you can you sure? Are you sure? This is actually in the Bible. Glory to God. And then, no matter, no, no God of Bible. Hallelujah. And then immediately. Landlord na kubide simu. Hale, somebody said, Landlord, Landlord, naga no gama niobu wavu kutuse wane, muavu wavu nye wunye. Muavu wako zata, you are a forgetful hearer, the Bible says. Why? Because you have looked in the mirror and found out that the Bible says you are rich. And immediately you're saying, oh, wow, uh, muavu wavu alavi. Immediately you have forgotten what manner of man you are. What else does the Bible say you are? Uh-huh. By his stripes you are healed. Glory to God. By his stripes. So you go into the mirror, and, uh, the mirror of God's word, and you read that by his stripes you are what? You are healed. Glory to God. Past tense, you are healed. But then, the moment you leave the mirror like this, not uncooked, you are joint pains. No joke, and signs of malaria are joint pain. So you are not a good Hallelujah. You have forgotten what manner of man. What else does the Bible say you are? Uh -huh. You are, you are a winner, hallelujah. You are a winner. Huh? Mm. You are a champion. Eh? Book, chapter, and verse, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Eh? Yeah. You are the head, not the tail. You are the head, not the Hallelujah. You are the head and not the what? So you go into the word of God and you read that you're the head and not the tail. Accompanied with all many other scriptures. You are more than conqueror. Somebody say more than a conqueror. More than a conqueror, above not beneath. Somebody say above only and not beneath. So you're looking at yourself. That is what the mirror is telling you. That is what the, the perfect law of liberty is telling you. That you are above only and not beneath. And then after, and then after, after looking at yourself, it has told you you are above. Somebody say above only. Above only. That says above only. Only, only, as in only above. Glory to God. And then immediately you leave. The Bible says immediately he forgets what manner of man he is. And he starts saying, Now you say, So you're the one who has just been saying above only. Somebody say above only. Now immediately you're saying yourself. Queen. 
You see some of these terminologies, we use them and we think they are innocent. Eh? We, we use them thinking they are innocent. If it is uh, someone, and I know someone is there saying, oh, Pastor, don't be uptight. Eh? That the person is just saying, oh, I'm to see. That it's just an economic reference to economic level. What economic The Bible says above only. On only the word says the word the word only is there. It's not that above yourself. Muslim, Pastor, now there's no only, there's no pastor. What? The moment you categorize yourself as Omuntu or Wansi, guys, Wansi and above, are the, are, 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 can the two be, be in the same sentence? Either, either you are Wansi or you are above. But the mirror that you're looking into, the word of God is telling you that you're above only. Let me tell you, it doesn't matter how much money you have or you don't have. Never call yourself Omuntu or Wansi. Tochi danga mwechu. If you are born again, if you are born again, the spirit of God lives in you. Never call yourself Omuntu Wachi. Guys, you need to understand that sometimes, sometimes we need to understand the position and the things that we carry. That the things that we carry are so precious that you are carrying the Holy Ghost. The Bible says the Holy Spirit has made his abode in you. And you, you, you are putting you with, with you with the Holy Ghost residing in you. And you're saying in the Muntu Wawans. How? How? You're being a forgetful what? A forgetful hearer. The Bible says that the forgetful hearer forgets immediately. And listen, it's not that the forgetful hearer does not see himself in a mirror. That's a sad thing. In other words, he actually goes in the mirror and finds out who he is. He finds out that I am above, not beneath. So he's not saying Dimutua was out of ignorance. He has actually looked in the mirror. He has had the pastor tell him, he has read it in the Bible that he is above. And then he turns quickly and he starts saying, Dimutua wants Aladi. And you think you're being, you, you think it's just ignorant, ignorant. Uh, innocent talk. It's not. It is not. It is shaping your life. Are you listening to me? The things that you're saying are shaping your life. You will find yourself in that over one see experientially. Spiritually speaking, you're above only. But your experience will always be. Why? Because you've forgotten what manner of man you are. Let me tell you. Listen. The kind of experience, we talk about helping people have a kingdom experience. Having a, a kingdom experience is much more about who you are than what you do. Now, what you do is very important. Make no mistake about it. But it's more about who you are than what you do. Are you still with me? It's, it's, just, like, it's just like ego flies. Let's say, have you, actually, it's likely that none of you are there are all those things that the ego has to do. But guess what? All those things, it is more about it being an ego than those things. Because if, a, if, if you got a chicken and taught it to flap its wings right, it will not fly like an ego. And you tell it that, you see, when an ego, when the wind is blowing, it spreads its wings so that the wind blows what? And, and you tell the chicken, cut now, blow, you flap your wings. And even, even if the chicken masters how to flap its wings right, it will never fly like, like the ego. Why? Because it's more about, it's not about, it's not only about learning to flap right. The first and most important thing is, are you an ego? Are you listening to me? Now, it's the same thing here. The, it's the, the things that you want to experience in life, the kind of experiences that you're looking for, kingdom experience, what? All the, fantastic. The most important thing is, do you know what manner of man you are? Before I tell you the things that you need. Now, the things that you need to do are important. But if, if you don't know what manner of man you are, and you're operating like a chicken that is trying to fly like an eagle, you're going to be frustrated. However, listen, however, however diligent a chicken will be in flying school. Eh? Praise the Lord. You, you, are you, you're imagining flying school, eh? However diligent a chicken will be, let me tell you, an ego that shows up two, two, two days to exams will fly better than the chicken. Why? Because it is a what? It's an ego. 
Now, I'm trying to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that don't forget that you're an ego. Even when I teach you the things that you do, even when I tell you that, you know, wisdom suggests that you save and invest. And you, yes, do all those things. But the primary thing that is going to make you a success is that God has intrinsically put success in you. Success is part of your nature as a child of God. The Bible says you overcome the world. It is in your nature to overcome the world. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Otherwise, if you forget that, you will be you will have joined the, the masses of the chicken trying to do, trying to overcome by the activities. Trying to overcome. Listen, guys, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, all, do all the things, be financially diligent, be financially what, but all those things will frustrate you if you don't do it from the perspective that you're a child of God who overcomes the world. If you're saving and investing as Omuntu Awansi, the results you're going to have are for Omuntu Awansi. Are you still there? Glory to God. So the Bible says that this man looks at himself in a mirror and forgets what manner of man he is. And the Bible says he is a forgetful what? Hearer. And he is not a doer of the word. So don't forget what manner of man you are. Don't forget what manner of man you are. It has everything to do with how your life is going to turn out. You're more than a conqueror. Say, tell anybody, more than a conqueror. Hallelujah. That is who you are. Listen, it doesn't matter. It's not, it's not, it, you are more than a conqueror. That's what the mirror has shown you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So look at yourself in the mirror of God's word and make sure, do whatever it takes not to forget. If it means, you know, sometimes, sometimes young children do things that are, that are wisdom. And, you know, as an adult, you need, you may need to take a leaf. You, I, I just realized this morning that when, when, when my children are in their MC and there are things that they are learning and they don't want to forget, they form a song out of it. They just form a song and they, began, they, they begin singing. So well, as we were coming today in, in the car, they were singing. So my, uh, was, uh, was what? So uh, Michael was uh, the, the three Hebrew boys. What were, what, were the, what were the names of the three Hebrew boys? Mm -hmm. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. What were the, what were their their original names? Because eh? those those are Hebrew names. Uh -huh. what, were, uh -huh. what, what was what name was Daniel? What name was given to Daniel in Babylon? Uh -huh. so, this one, there's only one person, and he's also guessing. He's like, uh, be, be, be. what is it? What was it? Belteshazzar. Yeah, the Belteshazzar was Daniel. So look about Belteshazzar. That was Daniel. Glory to God. Yeah, so there was a guy called, there was a guy called uh, uh, Hananiah, his own who became uh, Shadrach. Then there's a guy called Mishael, his own who became Meshach. Then there's a guy who, who called Azariah, his own who became Abednego. Glory to God. So the, the children were singing in the cut where, and so Ananiah became Mishael, Mishael became what, what, Daniel became Belteshazzar, whatever, I, I don't know the cartoon. But it was helping them to remember. You get, you get what I'm saying? As in, they are doing everything they have to do in order not to forget. Ladies and gentlemen, do what you must not to forget what must. If it means composing songs out of it, compose. I am the head, not the tail. Tell your neighbor, I'm the head, not the tail. But get on, okay, my neighbor, the head, not the tail. As do whatever you must not to forget what manner of man you are. Glory to God. Yeah. The problem is, the problem is when you come and sing them in church here, you think it is a praise song that ends in church. You compose your own. Because others, their songs are, I know who I am. I'm walking in power. But for you, you, you know it as a praise song that we sing in the church, and you will sing it again when it comes. Now, compose your own that you're going to sing throughout the day. Glory to God. That reminds you of what manner of man you are. Because when you forget what manner of man you are, you're going to forsake your own masses. You're going to walk on in dark. The Bible says they know not, neither do in darkness. You're going to walk in darkness. I'm the head, not the tail. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. Above, not beneath. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes. 
You do it. That will keep you afloat. Let me tell you, like I told you, you need to be radical about these things. If you be there and you just think that somehow, let, let me tell you, naturally speaking, if we were in a neutral environment, you wouldn't have to struggle a lot. But the problem is we're not in a neutral environment. The system of the world we are in is designed to make you forget who you are. Even these things I'm telling you, even I will tell you that Omuntua wants to be she, then as soon as you, in fact, some of you even, not even when you leave, even when I'm preaching, Muri WhatsApp, as I'm telling you, to you, you're reading a WhatsApp saying, Omuntua Kufa, no. You're reading it there, Omuntua wants to be she. System is designed to make you forget who you are. So you have to be deliberate about not forgetting who you are. If you need to write it, put it on your fridge, write it, let it be all over, as in put it wherever. Make sure you do not forget what manner of man you are. Otherwise, every other, the discipline, and guys, I'm telling you, please be disciplined. But all the discipline and the good things, whatever, will all be frustrating you if you don't know who you are. Why? Because the most important aspect of having results is who you are. Being an ego is what makes the flapping right of the wings work. Are you listening to me? It's being an ego is what, the, when the ego flaps its wings right, it will fly. When the chicken flaps its wings right, it will not fly. So don't forget that you are an ego. Hallelujah. What does the word of God say about you? That is who you are. You are more than a conqueror. Somebody say I'm more than a conqueror. Glory to God. Somebody say, I'm above only and not beneath. Glory to God. Somebody say, I'm more than a conqueror. Above only and not beneath. Glory to God. Say, I'm the head and not the tail. I'm the head and not the tail. I'm the head and the tail. Say, listen, not the tail. Somebody say, head, not the tail. Hallelujah. You can give yourself that. I'm going to, listen, these are things, you, you, used, to, you, you used to do these things to pass the history and the geography and what. Why don't you do it when they're going to change your life? Simaya went in a cane, Simaya in a vein, gave birth in a vein. Simaya what? I said, what you did, you did whatever you did. So if you need to do that in order to remind yourself of who you are doing, say, I'm the head, not the tail. Glory to God, head, not the tail. Say, head, not the tail. And you just say, I'm going to say it five times back and forth. Head, not the tail. Head, not the tail. I'm the head, not the tail. Head, not the tail. Head, not the tail. I'm the head, not the tail. Not the tail. Never, I'll never be the tail. I'm the head only. Head only. I'm above, not being. Look at my above only i'm above only glory to god above never beneath i'm above only above only i'm above. listen as you're doing that repeatedly you're hearing it and as you're hearing it it is registering in your spirit do whatever you must do to remember who you are stand up on your feet glory to god hallelujah praise the lord Wemuli, 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 wemuli. Glory to God. Ladies and gentlemen, that, makes the, that is what makes the difference between the people who are doing everything right. And yet you see some people have results and that happen. I'm a pastor, I see it happen many times. When the pastor, you're doing everything right, as you first all the teeth and not in your eye, but still life is frustrating you. Why? It's because you're operating as a chicken trying to achieve evil things. And you're doing everything right. You're flapping, you're flying at the right velocity. You're trying to whatever, but you're flying as a chicken and not, a, not, not an egg. And you want to achieve evil things. Ladies and gentlemen, I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus that you're going to have time. Like the eagle, you saw how on wings like eagles, glory to God. I'm a champion forever. I'm a champion. I'm a champion. When I look in the mirror, I see a champion. I'm a champion forever. Glory to God. I'm a champion. Forever, I'm a noble hammer. I'm born of God. The Bible says, Whatsoever is born of God, oh well, I overcome the world. The world will the Holy Ghost in me because of the Holy Ghost in me. Glory to God, hallelujah! Praise the Lord. Listen, you need to remind yourself. So if you need to say it, say it. If you need to sing it, sing it. If you need to write it, write it. If you need to, to, to be poetic about it, be poetic. Well, if you're going to do rap, yes, we are. Come on, say it, do it, whatever. Don't be a you see the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah.
The glory of the Lord is risen up. It's risen upon me. It doesn't matter what I see. The glory of the Lord is risen upon me. It doesn't matter what people say. The glory of the Lord is risen upon me. It doesn't matter who is up with me or not. The glory of the Lord is risen upon me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You may be the one who be blessed because I'm the seed of Abraham. Glory to God. I carry a blessing. I carry a solution. Glory to God. I am a well packed blessing. Glory to God. I am everywhere I go. People get blessed because I'm the seed of Abraham. I'm the seed of Abraham. Glory to God. Hallelujah. In the seed of Abraham, I'm the heir of the world. Because I'm the heir, I'm the seed of Abraham. I'm a child of God. I'm an overcomer. Overcome the world. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I'm a champion forever. I'm a champion forever. I'm a champion. Glory to God, I'll champion forever. It doesn't matter what I don't see. I'm a champion. I'm a champion forever. In the name of the Lord. Champion. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm a champion. Listen, these things work for those who believe and receive them. Hallelujah. Somebody say, I'm a champion forever. Glory to God. That is who I am. That, listen, so stop talking like a moon to our one seat. Glory to God. So and that's why I tell people that I'm no joke. Glory to people. Come back to the state of money. And bless God, I have money. Hallelujah. I have money. Glory to God. Even you tell your neighbor, I have money. Hallelujah. Don't. Don't tell him the amount. Just say I have money. Hallelujah. Just say I have money. Glory to God. And, and then people say, Pastor is talking like that because he has, because I have a lot of it. I have a lot of it because I talk like that. Hallelujah. Yeah. It's, I have a lot of it because I talk like that. You need to learn how to talk right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody, glory to God. Uh, listen, say I'll never be broke in my life. I'll never be broke, broke a day, another day in my life. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I'm rich and loaded. Hallelujah. The Bible says that he daily loads us with benefit. Tell your neighbor I'm loaded. Tell your neighbor I'm loaded. I'm loaded. I'm loaded. I'm loaded. I'm loaded. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The forgetful here looks at he is. I will not forget. Tell I am. Father, we are loaded. We are loaded. Yes, the world will not understand us when we speak like that. Even the, and even some spiritually uneducated Christians will not understand us. But it doesn't matter. I am loaded. Glory to God. I am loaded. Just practice it for one day. Practice it for one day. Between now and the end of the day. If anybody asks you, how are you? Just say, I am loaded. Hallelujah. Glory. Let that be the response. Just say, I am loaded. And don't explain yourself. Hallelujah. Just say, I'm loaded. I'm loaded. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, we bless you. We give you thanks.